As you can see, I have the lovely Miss Estrella back with me. No, we did not um, wear the same clothes like two days or two weeks in a row. We just had such a good time filming the first video, part one. I will put that up here somewhere, that link, and the link in the bio. We decided that we were gonna do a part two where we go from like our fresh face after the mask to this, to this. Um, and while we get ready, you know, this isn't just your typical beauty channel. This is a channel where we talk about real things that are affecting us. We will be talking about our goals for the future. Yay! Yay! Instead of sitting in where we are now, we will be projecting um, the future and setting goals um, and not setting limitations and really just giving or really just having like a real conversation mm -hmm. about how we're going to achieve those goals, what that process is gonna look like. Of course, we will link all the products that we use in the description. And I hope you like, comment, and subscribe and share this video. And let's talk about subscribing. You've already watched this far. You might as well hit that subscribe button and support yes. your girl, support the movement. Okay. All right, so let's hop right into the video. Let's do this. Let's do this. What do you usually start with? Do you start with your face or your hair? Um, I start with my face. Yeah? Yeah. I usually start with my hair. Really? But I'm not doing my hair. <laughs> it's done. This is the best that it's gonna get to. Um, I'm not doing anything else. But yeah, I usually start with my hair because I feel like it takes the most time. So, Estrella. Yes. What would you say is your 12 month goal? My 12 month goal. Your 12 month goal. I guess currently my 12 month goal is to graduate, mm -hmm. which is going to be in May. So I know for sure I'm going to accomplish that. And then apart from that, getting my real estate license. Ooh. I've always wanted to get my real estate license. I don't think I knew that about you. <laughs> I don't think you disclosed I know it's that been, information. It's been in the talks for a while. And I think um, it's always important to invest in real estate and I've been wanting to obtain more knowledge on it so i'm gonna get my real estate license before i graduate and um i think it's just always good to have a backup no matter what and um, so this is something that's been in the works yeah okay i've been thinking about it for a while and i'm finally like okay you know let me just get it and oh my god i have it i have it <laughs> that's like remember monday when we went um to no man's land when we, went, when we went to the Fountain Blue and South Beach and all those friggin' um, lots mm -hmm. that people were like charging up the butt for it, like $5 here, $6 here, $35 here. Mm -hmm. With that real, real estate license, you can like own property, you know? Yep. Like have like a better idea of yeah, the exactly. property, you know? I mean, you can always continue doing your career, but mm -hmm. there's nothing wrong with doing something on the side. Um, I feel like in today's society, you need several incomes, not just one. Oh my gosh. You never yes. know what can you happen. You never know what can happen. For With the company you work for, or if you get sick Yeah, or you get sick, like, you have an God injury. Forbid, but um, if you have an injury, if you're in a car accident, obviously you can't work. Like, Because they will hire somebody else. They will send you a condolence letter and hire somebody literally. else. Literally. Literally. <laughs> so, and then apart from that... Um, it's just gaining more skills mm -hmm. and um, finally within the 12 months have my online e-commerce business up and running mm -hmm. just making money on the side you know and I think for a long time I've been wanting to do all these things but you know just work school have been getting in the way but I told myself I really have to make this happen before I graduate because like, I feel like it's going to be a little too late. <laughs> not, little. not a little too late, but like, I feel like if you don't do it, it's never going to happen. So you either have to just jump the boat and just go for it. If not, then it's going to take forever, you know? Most definitely. <laughs> My one year plan, most definitely, is to have a strong school year. Um, that's not my number one, but that's the first thing that I'm saying is I want to have a strong school year. Um, I also want um, a job, <laughs> a paying job. <laughs> yeah, now that I'm like, I've, I've gained so many tools from Estrella. 
Um, I plan to, you know, capitalize on that and find me a job. A job that's paying. Now, with that saying money, that, honey. that money, honey, with saying that, um, or with that said, I am not going to allow school and work to be my end all be all moving forward. And when I say that, I just mean that I've been sort of in the workforce since I was like 17, 18 years old. And I've been in school since I was 18 years old. And I honestly feel like I pour so much energy into those things and not saying that those things are not beneficial, but I also want to pour as much energy, if not more energy into myself, mm -hmm. um, growing myself, growing my brand, um, figuring out what exactly I want my brand to be and things that are going to be lucrative to me in the future. You know what I mean? Yeah. I feel like if for me personally, focusing on, solely on school and work, I sort of put my dreams and my goals on the back burner because I'm trying to, you know, juggle two things at once and that third thing goes away. But that third thing should be like my number one. Mm -hmm. Because honestly, I don't want to work for someone for the rest of my life. That's just not something that I ever saw for myself doing long term. Um... I sort of want to have my own and why not invest in myself mm -hmm. you know during this time I'm at my peak right now I just feel like this year I'm going to dedicate to myself dedicate to building my brand changing my focus to me and not the things um, not the things surrounding me yep so with saying great. that do you feel like work and school sort of get in the way sometimes of course like you'd rather be investing your time into something else yeah your time and energy mm -hmm. into yourself into yourself you know like honestly if i didn't have school and work i feel like i would be able to accomplish everything that i've been working so hard for yeah and i feel like i'm i don't get there because of the situation I am in now but once you get one thing out of the way I know you'll be able to accomplish things and it's not only that I feel like anybody can do a little bit of everything definitely it's just the time of time management and actually being disciplined with yourself and determined and that's something that I haven't done like for a really long time I was just focusing on school and work especially mm -hmm. work more than school and then I wasn't focusing as much in school because of work. So it's like I have had to learn to have a balance and know that this is not the company I want to grow with and be with. What I want to do is have my own thing. And I can't be putting a company before myself mm -hmm. or my dreams or my goals or anything like that because then it becomes very difficult for me to accomplish anything that I've been wanting to accomplish. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, me and Estrella recently went to an amazing um, event this Monday, actually, or last Monday. And it was all about... Um, it was like a television event, like, for TV, um, digital media majors, journalist majors, anyone getting into the business into media into basically. media basically and one of the key things that i learned was believing in yourself um and creating your there, there you creating go. your brand creating your brand and instead of like begging for a seat at the table creating your own table mm -hmm. basically and um and, and it doesn't have to be like a table in the corner either it can be like a big table it can it has be a to, table it has to be the table that people are going to go after and want to join and want to join yeah. and is unique to you you know stop trying to fit in mm -hmm. and even if they don't get it even if they don't believe in you and they don't get it you know one day they will and even if they don't you at least believe in you yeah and never um never settle for what you think the big corporate companies want you for yeah don't walk in grateful basically don't mm -hmm. walk in like oh my god i'm so grateful to be here and of course like have humility i'm not saying walk in there 
um, like, hey, I want this, this, and this. No, but know your worth. Mm -hmm. Know your worth um, because nine times out of ten, they've already ha they already have a number in their head and they're waiting to see what you say. They're gonna throw out the lowest number that they have. They're gonna see what you. So what you have you to say. go in with confidence always exactly. and know your worth because obviously any corporate company is gonna want to tell you. Hey, you're. We're offering you fifty thousand, but mm -hmm. in reality, they can afford you for seventy thousand, a hundred, or even more. Yeah, and you're okay with just taking forty five or fifty thousand. Don't know ever you cut yourself short, and always know your worth, and always negotiate, and know what you're bringing into the table. There's you already made, like you're halfway there because the fact that they brought you in for an interview. Now you have to go in and actually be like, okay, well, I'm worth this much and this is why and this is what I think I need and deserve. What's something else that you feel like you learned? Um, I wanted to say always have your like elevator speech, like down packed. Yeah. Always have your pitch ready because you don't know who you're going to meet. You don't know who's going to be there <laughs> and you don't want to be unprepared. Yeah, you never want to be unprepared. Um, like if you're working on something, a script or even a brand or even or your, even experience, your, yeah, you just even want experience or even yourself. Like you have to always make sure like who you are as a person. Go in there with confidence. Never s stumble and be like, well, I really want this job because you okay. know it's it's the greatest <laughs> thing that I've always wanted. And no, it's. You have to go in with confidence and you have to go knowing what you are worth and who you are as a person because if you don't even know what your path is, then they're not going to approve you or even accept you because they, why are they going to work with somebody who's yeah. in the works? Why are they going to invest in like uh, in the making when they can invest in someone who already has a clear and concise idea of what they want to do? And you don't even have to know like immediately what you want to do. But at least have like one thing that you want to do and lead with that foot. Mm -hmm. If somebody asks you like what your what your brand is, what your craft is, what you're good at, at least have that one thing. So that while you and that one thing will get you through the door and while you're while you're in the building, you can look around and you can sort of like figure out what it is that you exactly want to do. Exactly. I agree. I like if you want to be a makeup artist or if you're good at makeup, say I'm a makeup artist and then get on set. And, and always, then, always have a business card or yeah. even a resume, a sample something of your work that mm -hmm. you can show. A real, a link <laughs> that you can send out. I need business cards, actually, Stella. You're gonna help me. I need, I need business cards. Um, so what? And you have to be approachable. Like, you have to be able to not be shy and approach people. And one of the things that I actually go through is like. I'm a very shy person and I think I need to overcome that so then that way more opportunities start coming in my way and it's something that I have been working on for a really long time and I, I have gotten better throughout years but um, it's I think the confidence is not there because sometimes I go in not prepared and when you're not prepared you tend to have less confidence and you're just going to be like, uh, what do I say? Like, <laughs> hi, hi, I'm Max from, uh, from TNT. Or I'm, I'm Adrian from Fox. <laughs> Who are you? It's Drea. <laughs> Marsha. Wow. What do you bring to the table? Myself. Um, <laughs> I already, I already have a clear idea. Of what you want to say and, and and already have like a delivery don't be so shook you know don't be so intimidated and starstruck another thing I learned was you know they don't really know what they're doing either mm -hmm. no one really knows what they're doing no one ever knows what they're doing no one you knows always think doing. just because someone makes more money than you or has a higher position than you you like they know what they're doing when in reality it's not like that whatsoever it's like <laughs> we're all oh, trying to shit. learn or along the way you know like some people accept jobs that the, they don't even know that they're, they're not even qualified but yet they do them because yet they do them because um they go for it you know and that's what you have to do as well and um, who's your inspiration like 
when it comes to writing? Like, who um, do you, like, see yourself as becoming one day? Like, a sci-fi version of Issa Rae. Mm-hmm. I love Issa Rae. Issa Rae started from the bottom. She started, not necessarily the bottom, because YouTube's not the bottom, but <laughs> she definitely started from a place of um, authenticity. From the beginning, she was, like, authentic. Um, she w- It was like, you like, there was nothing else like that out out for Issa Rae, like awkward black girl like nobody was watching that i was watching it but <laughs> nobody was watching that on like YouTube? that yeah on youtube you should check it it's so good it's so good and i was it was relatable you know what i mean like it was relatable to me just like awkward to be original to be authentic and to hire your friends because a lot of people from awkward black girl are on Insecure, so shout out to her. Yeah, and those were her friends, right? Those were her friends, yeah. yeah those were her friends from college, I think. Everybody eats. You eat, and there's, like, if you can eat, why not, like, make room for somebody else to eat? Mm-hmm. We can all eat together. So who would you say inspires you? Oh, man. Who's your inspiration? Hmm. It doesn't have to be one person. It can just be like a collective. Yeah. And it doesn't even have to be a person. <laughs> it could be my dog. Yeah, it could be a dog. I'm kidding. It could be an um, idea. A speech somebody gave. I love Angela Reyes. Okay. Um, she's absolutely amazing. She's beautiful. She's Everything. gorgeous. Um, I've been following her on Instagram for a while. And I actually found out who she was through Instagram because of all the work she was doing during the election. Um, I just love her confidence and her just working so hard to help the people of America and how opinionated she is Mm -hmm. and how confident she is when she's talking on air, like literally on CNN, to like other people (laughs) of like other people, like other cultures and, um, and she really is very ballsy, and she just she's says, like she has cornrows and going on. People. Yeah, she has her cornrows, and she's just going on on CNN. Call people sis. Yes, she's like ah, uh-uh. like yeah, like no, no. <laughs> she, You're gonna listen. So I love everything that she has achieved in life. I love that she's in the media industry, mm-hmm. and also that she went to school for law, and um, she's also in politics, and she. She's just very inspiring. Yeah. Like, if I ever wanted to... I think that's who I really aim towards becoming. Just my own version. Yeah. But just the fact that she's just accomplished so much. And she's such a, a, a huge, amazing mentor to young women. And that's what I want to become. I want a mentorship. Mm. I want to really... I really want to have the confidence to be able to go in any direction and if I know that direction is meant for me that I'm going to take over it and just make it mine yeah and nobody else nobody else's and you have to confidence is something each individual has to work on it doesn't come based on the way you look physically or the stuff you have the clothes you wear it has nothing to do with material things it comes within and um, I hope to be able to teach that to young girls. My five-year plan is to buy my own apartment. Mm. Uh, I want to have invest in real estate, like I said before. Um, I want to have a an apartment that I own on my own. Probably two two properties, one of my own and one that I can rent. Um, I think real estate is really important, and I think that's. Um, ideally where I want to be and invest in. Apart from that, I want to have my own agency, Mm -hmm. an all-woman agency. So that's been in the talks. Yes, that has (laughs) been in the talks. So, um, and also, apart from that, I have recently discovered that I have a passion for um, reporting, Mm -hmm. for anchorship. So um, I'm trying to see if that's the correct path. You know, you have to try things before you really Yeah, go. you really jump. You really course. jump, yeah. So, um, I'm trying to still decide if I'm going to be getting my master's in broadcasting and media or if I'm going
going to pursue a law degree and um, I guess during the five year plan I just really have myself stable where I can create something for myself and um, just honestly be healthy and just obtain as much knowledge and whatever goals that come within those five year range that I am able to accomplish them and I really just want to travel travel for, travel for at least a year like one year just travel mm -hmm. and um that'd be so cool mm -hmm. just travel for a whole yeah. year but if i can get my if i can get what i'm working on as a freelancer on my own and obtain it then i know i can go i can make that route of traveling because i can work from wherever i can around the world but you have to just work really hard on it and that's what i that's like, your five year. That's my five year. <laughs> my five year plan is to have a pilot on air. Um, I have a series that I'm working on and I want it to be a reflection of me and my background. And um, I want it definitely to be relatable to young women out there. Mm -hmm. um, I want to be up and out of my parents' house. I gotta be out of this. <laughs> I gotta Don't be we all. I got I have outgrown them. They've outgrown me. They're waiting on me to leave. I'm trying to leave, you know. But we need those resources first. Yeah. Um I want I wanna be married. I, I didn't mention married. that. That's fine. I wanna be married. You wanna be married to stay? <laughs> Single for life. No. I wanna be married. I wanna oh, be married. Um I wanna be happy. I wanna be prosperous. And I really do want my relationship with god to become stronger mm. definitely Ooh, and i want man. i mm. want like my goals and my passion and my dreams to align with his yeah um, so that i can be even more prosperous of and course. then we can be prosperous and then everybody's prosperous mm -hmm. so those are my five-year goals for myself mm -hmm. is the final countdown da -da 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 -da. so <laughs> our final send off um, is going to be to set goals for yourself mm -hmm. and to follow through with those goals. Um, you can start off small. It doesn't have to be a five-year plan or a one-year plan. It can be like a week plan. What do you plan to accomplish this week? Yep. You know, whether it's going back to the gym, whether it's um, doing your homework on time instead of like the last minute before 11.59 on Sunday hits, um, which I did this week. I'm so proud of myself. Um, whether it's to wash your hair or whether it's bigger dreams, <laughs> bigger dreams you set for yourself, always have goals and give yourself deadlines and give yourself that push because nobody's going to push you, mm -hmm. um, unless you push yourself. Exactly. How do you feel about that story? Um, when you are setting those goals, mm -hmm. don't overbear yourself. Oh yeah. Because we all want to accomplish things really like quickly really, really, really and really short. fast. Be realistic with your goals. Mm -hmm. Like Varsha said, um, just one goal at a time, yeah. one step at a time makes a, lime, uh, a milestone of things for you to go to. And um, just, accompl just accomplish them. And even if it's one simple goal per week, you are closer to achieving your biggest goal. So just really focus on yourself, and even if it's small, carry on. Carry on. And keep doing it. Keep going. All right, thank you guys so much for watching the video. I hope you like, comment, and subscribe, and share. Thank you. Oh.